So I wake up this morning and this is what I see. Vaina. That's it. That's all I see. And there's really nothing else to describe it. Check out those lines for a store here in Kiev. This is not the center, but still, take a look at those uh, lines over there. So I woke up today at around uh, 7 a.m. I took my phone, looked at the news, and there are all these headlines about war, this, war, that. And so started reading the news. And it seems it has gotten pretty serious, actually. Because depending on who you believe, which news you read, there are lots of, um, lots of fighting, lots of things happening. Apparently, or allegedly right now, it's only to strike the, um, um, the military installations in Ukraine. So it's nothing, you know, like a full-on occupation or anything like that. It's about military installations. But, I mean, who really knows how far this is going to go? Here in Ukraine, it's not really a lot of panic. I wouldn't say it's business as usual, but people are relatively calm for what the situation is. There's, there are a lot of lines to stores, to pharmacies, to uh, pet shops, things like that. We're actually going to a store to get some eggs right now just wanted to get outside to go outside and uh, get some fresh air from reading the news every five minutes to see what's happening and um, we will see you know it's hard to know how far this is gonna go the situation is developing rapidly and actually there were a lot of the traffic was very very heavy leaving Kiev there are pictures of it uh, everybody tried to leave Kiev earlier today. The trains are sold out days in advance. Uh, the borders are getting closed by Poland, I think. At least that's what I heard. And so here where we are, it's not, it's not very panicky. It's kind of like business as usual because these are Ukrainians. It's very, it's you know, these are the these are people who are used to that kind of thing. Um, they are they are relatively calm, and so, but but the situation is, you know, deteriorating hour by hour, day by day. So nobody can predict what's going to happen um, soon. What's going to happen shortly? And so uh, we will see, we will see what's happening. We will make accurate adjustments because even if things are relatively calm, it's not business as usual, right? Because nobody's working today. Everybody's sitting at home, watching the news, trying to understand what's happening. So for me personally, that's not business as usual. You know, that's unpredictability and instability. And that's not something where I personally want to live, you know? It's not an environment where, you know, me and Marina uh, want to live in that kind of environment. So we will see, but things are rather difficult right now. We will see what's gonna happen in the next few days or so. I'm gonna get some eggs. Dobry den. My favorite eggs right here. I'm gonna pick up three of these. So on an official level, there's been a lot of a lot of things obviously happening. They broke off all the all diplomatic uh, connections with uh, with Russia. Obviously, uh, Ukraine did. Um, there's no uh, all the airports are closed. Traffic is limited. I think there it's blocked off. You cannot leave. Uh, the city of Kiev at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of um, declarations, a lot of talk on the news from official sources. Uh, I think I read that hospitals are no longer are no longer doing planned surgeries, things like that. So there's a lot of things that are happening on an international level, on a national level. 
but here in the neighborhood it's fairly calm fairly fairly calm and no this thing in front of me was not bombed it was like this for a very very long time here and so there you have lines like this not even in the center of Kiev and so that line that you saw before was not a line to a supermarket it was a line to an ATM people want to get their money out but unfortunately it's kind of too late because there is no way to get foreign currency right now and in order to get local currency it is uh, there's a limit there's a daily limit which they are gonna create more and more of so in situations like this once the shit hits the fan so to speak it's already kind of too late you know it's already kind of too late after that so that is the situation today everybody's at home nobody's working um people are just you know outside buying stuff you know buying things like water and really nobody knows what's going on right now the situation is kind of everybody believes that they're attacking um the military installations so there's no military installation in our own neighborhood there is a um tv um uh, tv antenna a big tv antenna and that can be considered a military installation so we will see what's happening it's rapidly changing so we will just wait and see depending on the situation on the ground uh what are we gonna do what kind of steps are we gonna take um in the near future